Here at Salisbury City Boxing Club, members are busy in training. They're either boxing to keep fit or training for competitions. The club began in the 1920s, but over the years has moved locations to where it is today. We started up fighting for Andover, then we come back, fought down at Southampton, fought Southampton, and then after I kind of knocked it on the head fighting-wise, a few of my other friends wanted to get back into it and things like that, so I said, well, let's, let's start our own one. So we started our own club, and that was about 1995. And since then, it's, it's gone great guns, really. The club caters for members aged 11 and upwards. With around 50 members in total across all age groups, some of them have had success in regional and national championships. Most recently, Charlie Castle became a national junior finalist, being narrowly defeated by his Manchester opponent for the title. He stepped into the ring and uh, he's given it a go. We entered our first championships in, um, how long ago was that? October, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he boxed in the semi-finals. He boxed a lad much more experienced. Uh, 12 fights, nine wins, I think it was. Um, that was your third fight? Yeah. So, put up a great performance and made his way to the final. And can you tell me how it felt? It felt good. How far do you want to take boxing? Is this just... Is this just a hobby for you, or what do you want to do with it? I want to temper it. It's a career, mate. He's good enough. He's an ex-talent, definitely. One to watch for the future. Another recent success is Toby Nicholl, who progressed to the national semi-finals. After an accidental head clash, the judges were split, but in favour of Toby's opponent. He says boxing has improved his life since taking it up. It's changed my life. I mean, I was sat on the sofa in the weekdays, sort of drinking, smoking, all my mates were doing wrong, the wrong sorts of things, and I needed some stability and something to, something to do, basically. And that was six years ago, and I never looked back. This club was in between coaches a little bit, a few years back when I first started coaching. I, mean, I started off here, I went off to Australia, and I, just, I had my first fight out there. And when I come back, I had a taste for it, and I had to go and train out over in Southampton. But then the coaches, I mean, the, the infrastructure in this club's where it should be right now with the coaches and the staff and so I've come back to box my home club and anyone who knows me knows how proud I am to be a Salisbury lad and, um, and how much I want to win trophies for this club and this city. Both Toby and Charlie remain Western County champions across four divisions. Gloucester and Wiltshire, Somerset and Bristol, Cornwall and Dorset and Devon. The clubs say it's an opportunity to teach children about health as well as respect. A lot of them come in with problems and we help them and they leave the club a totally different person. Um, a lot of the juniors that we've got here now, we've been here for four, five, six years. Um, young Charlie uh, that you spoke to earlier, he turned up when he was about nine years old and he's 16, 17 now. He's, he's progressed all the way through. Well, when I think you get a lot of respect out of it because people know if you, if you do box or any sort of sport like that, there's lots of people play it and keep fit in that, but to actually get in there and fight, I don't think people realise what it's like. I know I didn't when I first started. It can teach you a lot of that, and definitely. The club are now looking to train more of their members in order for them to be entered into county competitions. Cara Digby, That's TV.